Joe, this one wasn't even close, our next game, but we did talk about the Oregon social media team. I hope that you leave this in the clip because Oregon faced Illinois yesterday in an outright blowout, even though I'm mad at Oregon social media, okay, for clipping us when we said, and all week we said that this was going to be a domination. Actually, it was. Oregon dominates Illinois 38-9. to Your thoughts? Well, obviously, one of the things that we talked about in this preview, why we were so confident that Oregon was going to kick the crap out of them, is that their defensive line is so good and that Illinois did not have the O-line to protect Luke Altmyer and to run the ball. This is just another opportunity to remind us that this Oregon team, they got all the energy that they need at the right time. You don't want to be that team that peaks in week three. Tennessee's a great example of that. Everybody was crowning them national champions, including us. No, on this show. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Okay, hold on. Let me rephrase. We were hyping them up quite a bit, though. We were hyping them quite a bit. We thought and that they could be an They SEC had 800 team. yards of offense. What do you want me to do? I'm, that's not the point. I'm trying to say here, though, is that there's plenty of teams that peak early and then fall off. Ranked team at home. See the opportunity to completely smother and dominate your opponent. Get in and out. Move on to the next game. This Oregon team, despite a first couple of weeks with some new faces, Evan Stewart comes in. Dylan Gabriel comes in. We're working out. We're figuring out what are all the issues. How can we fix this? What works best? They figured it out, it feels like. It feels like they know what they need to do to smoke everybody that they face off with. I'm in on this Oregon team. The more that I see performances like this against a good Illinois program, not saying they're great, but a good Illinois program that was rankable and competitive and a tough out for everybody that they played up until that point. This is a reputable, strong win. And again, I continue to be impressed by Oregon. Joe, they dominated on the ground. Something yep. that, you know, if 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 you're if you and I are having a conversation about Oregon three or four weeks ago and they couldn't run the football, Joe, they lined up against a really tough Illinois front and ran it right at them and busted their ass. I mean, the turnovers, the 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 just absolute will to just run over your opponent, Joe, you're right. They are leaning on teams. And to be real with you, it also goes in the, in the sense of, Joe, I got to be real with you. Outside of Cam Ward, the second most reliable quarterback in the country is Dylan Gabriel. And it's not remotely close. Dylan Gabriel, 18 of 26, 291. He had three touchdowns, Joe, but I know he had the pick. Okay, overthrow, whatever, timing bad, whatever. He went off too. So not only are they running the football and running it down a team's throat. Joe, I, 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 like I go into a game expecting Dylan Gabriel, I have confidence in him, that he's going to make the right decisions, that he's going to make the right plays. Now, Joe, I look at them, and especially in this game defensively, Luke Altmaier was seeing ghosts out there like he was Sam Darnold, okay, four years ago. 17 to 35, 161, and two touchdowns. I mean, two interceptions. I mean, they're all over the place. They're suffocating teams. Mm. That's what's happening here. And look, man, we just got done talking about Ohio State and the Megatrons that they have at receiver. Now that we're seeing this thing being opened up and the season's in there. <laughs> So this team can compete with anybody. And I think that they, we you're right. I do think that we're starting to see an Oregon team hitting a different stride right now. I would make this argument, Blake. I don't know if I can think of a more balanced team in the country right now. And, and we spent a lot of time in the preseason talking about who is the most balanced, but teams like Georgia and Ohio State, they're banged up on their own lines. You know, they're, they're dealing with injuries to different positions. Oregon has stayed healthy and they've got depth at a lot of spots. This Oregon team feels like they're the most balanced. You just talked about how the run game took over here. And then we watched against Ohio oh, State. 29 yards. I mean, they're yeah. clapping people. Ohio State, the passing game took over. That won them the football game. On defense, their D-line can step up and stop teams that are run-centric. Their secondary can make big plays against opposing quarterbacks that are of higher calibers. They might be quite possibly the most balanced team in the country at the current moment. That could change, and that probably will change. Other teams are going to catch up, like Georgia, uh, that we've been hyping up a ton lately. But this Oregon team, I, I, I mean, I'm going to sound like a broken record. I keep getting more and more impressed by how they 
not only win, but just kick the shit out of everybody that they play. Georgia of the West. We said, by anyone who thinks we're Oregon haters, go find the, the the Dan Lanning National Signing Day video that we did where the headline literally was, is this SEC West? 1,000%. Oh, I thought on Oregon social media, they just clip anything that we say hateful. I, I, oh, should, and by should the next, way, it wasn't next preview, even- should, should we just say like a bunch of like really heinous, um, like really hot takey things that sound like we're hating on Oregon and see if they'll, they'll I don't know. But here's, again. <laughs> here's a funny thing. You ready? Here's a funny thing. Because in, if you watch the hype video, I said that I think or, that Illinois might be able to run the ball a little bit. That this, if there is something, Joe, that I do see about Oregon. Yeah. Lottery had 12 carries for 70 yards. I okay, mean, come on. I don't know if that's enough proof to like seven yards. A, <laughs> no, it's seven yards a carry. I know. Okay, so again, if there is a more ba- if there is a team that can run the football, I do ask. I- I'm just asking questions, Joe. It's all I'm asking. Yeah, I know. Okay, clip that shit next time, tag us. Um, any thoughts on Illinois here, Joe? I mean, like they're out of the playoff picture. I don't think there's much to take. If I'm being honest, when we get games like this and guys are kind of or not guys, teams are shifting out of the playoff picture. I move my focus to the team that won. Got to give credit to Brett Bielma, though, man. They're in a spot that I don't think anyone anticipated or expected, that they're at least in these conversations and they're rankable. Fair. I I, I do think that that's fair. All right. Bet Online remains your top spot for all of your live betting action and contests. NFL, college football, UFC, NHL are all in full swing. Bet Online is your number one source for wagering news, odds, trends, and predictions with both desktop and mobile access at any time. Head to Bet Online today and use promo code BELIEVE. That's B L E A V for 50% off your first deposit. That is a 50% welcome bonus. Bet Online, where the game starts.